No, I wasn't brushing up on a book. It, it, what are you talk? It. Roll the intro. Wednesday with love. Kenichiwa, my name is Senpai777, and welcome back to another episode of Wednesday Book Vlog. Now, I have a few announcements to make. One is that we are pretty close to 350 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for that, and we just have a few more to go before we can start the first shout out competition at 350 subs so make sure that you are sharing retweeting you know sending people over because you guys get the chance to have a shout out and a video tour of all your social media and channels second announcement is one person responded to the riddle and that was deception and she responded thoughts using the hashtag senpai777 riddle that was a good guess, Tess, but it's not the right answer because, as you can see in the riddle, one of the clues are, I have no end, and as you know, thoughts do have an end. So, that wouldn't exactly make sense. But I guarantee you there is an answer, and you can guess again for this week using hashtag Senpai777Riddle. If any of you guys have a guess, Tweet at me on Twitter at Senpai, hashtag Senpai777Riddle, and whoever guesses it right will get a shout out. Alright, now let's get into the thick of it. The first book we are going to be talking about is um, in reference to one of the comments I got on one of my other Wednesday book vlogs. Uh, Melo and, uh, the Amelo and Paula show commented and asked if I could read any comics. Well, I haven't read any comics comics. I've read manga and I've read, you know, Marvel books that weren't exactly comics, if you know what I mean. And this is a prime example of it. It's uh, Spider-Man and the name of the title is Requiem. By Jeff Marriott. Marriott. Um, this is the only Spider-Man book that I own. It's only 308 pages long. But I felt like this is the best author of these writing books. Because his writing style is noticeably different from the other authors. Where authors are heavy on the humor, or they might make like snide remarks in the character of Peter Parker, or they might, you know, like be too serious. This author, I felt, really balanced both. There's some humor, you know, where he's like confident in himself, you know, and he's a little bit funny, but then there's also the serious moments where um, you actually question whether he will survive or not. and But it's not too heavy on it. Like, you are obviously know he's going to survive. So you're, like, kind of bored. Because, like, oh, hey, yeah, bad things. But, hey, he's going to survive, right? There's no meat to it. There's no commentary. But this author, I felt, balanced them both. And really um, brought the famous Spider-Man genre to life, I felt, and this particular book is about um, when he encounters Carrion, and it's a little different from what they've been doing on the films on TV. They've been doing it as, like, it started as a symbiote. But this book actually goes into saying that a organization was going after a Grimmar, and the carrion was started by a experiment that was gone wrong in the uh, what you might call it in in the uh, you know the organization I'll I'll put it right here, and it's transmitted by either breathing it in 
um, ingesting it in some way, um, getting hurt or blood getting on you or in through the sweat or in through the air. And once the original carrion dies, the person that was come into contact with it becomes the new carrion. And basically who the carrion is, is the memories of this person that wrongly believes that Spider-Man killed his loved one on purpose. And he wants to get revenge on Spider-Man every single time. And when the original carrion dies, the new carrion comes into being and erases their personality. And continues to go after Spider-Man. And this book is about how this evil organization is going after this grimoire. That is really evil and powerful. And he has to deal with those guys. And at the same time he has to deal with this new carrion. Who brings out a new way of getting at Spider-Man. And he has to deal with this because the carrion seems to retained both personalities, and both personalities hate him. Like, the original guy hates him for something that he did, and Carrion hates him for the previous memory, the previous body of the original person. So, it really puts a good twist to the Spider-Man genre kind of series. Um, it's a standalone novel, like, you could pick it up and totally get immersed and not be lost but it's i guess technically part of a series but there's no like book one book five uh book three it's like a standalone novel like you could pick it up if you know anything about spider-man you could pick it up and read it like i mean there is some plot stuff that you might have to touch up on like if you don't know how the organization started or who they are you might have to google that but other than that, you can pick it up and read it right away. So yeah, that's the first book, Spider-Man Requiem by Jeff Marriott. I believe I said that right. The second book we have today is also a standalone novel and is not part of any series. It is James Crepondo Blood Money. Now this is particularly out of my league of reading that I usually do, but I felt like this book was really awesome for me to actually keep it. And it's about a murder case, of course, which is a genre that I don't read that much because, you know, I like fantasy stuff. I don't normally read that, you know, investigation stuff. But this one was really fun to read because it's about a murder investigation about a mother who is accused of killing her daughter, which is similar to current life events. But anyway, and the detective, is it the detective? Yes, it's the detective, I believe. Wait, wait, lawyer, lawyer, anyways, it's about this guy who investigates the case, and it goes into finding out that certain things were involved in proving a not guilty verdict, and he goes on this, you know, lead that dives him into corruption it involve it unveils some shocking things and i thought this is really unique book because not only is it a murder investigation not only is it a mystery not only is it a thriller it's also a court case book where it shows how the court cases go but they leave out all the boring stuff and everything and then it, it's also an action book. So all of those blended together, I thought really made it an interesting book to read. And I really enjoyed it. 
Now, I haven't read anything else by him, because, you know, like I said, this is particularly not my genre, so I'm not going to go out and look for more books or to read by this genre. I have so many books of, that I want to read that I'm actually interested in reading. But, yeah, I thought that this was an awesome book, so I decided to keep it. And it's called, again, Blood Money by James Grappondo. Yeah, that's the second book. Last but not least, we have probably one of the book series that you might have heard about. If not, you might have uh, seen someone reading it or talk about it. It's the Warriors series. And if you don't know what that is, it's about um, clans of cats that, uh, that came, they, uh, they removed themselves from the human homes where they called themselves kitty pets. And they went on to make a clan and call themselves warrior cats because they survive on the wild. They hunt their food. They do their own medicine. They survive on their own. They don't rely on all the humans to, to feed them and be lazy and get fat. Um, and this series shows the struggles that they've gone through. And uh, basically the battles that they have with disagreeing clans and they're bloody and... You know, it doesn't hold back on matureness of it. It might be about cats, yes, but like, for example, one of the wars, there was a lot of casualties and it goes into how one person had this injury, one cat had this injury, one cat had this injury, one cat died because of this. And it definitely engages you into this world of cats and their laws and their warrior uh, codes that they go through, that their rituals, that they become a warrior cat. And it's a really awesome series if you like animals and you like the fact that the animals have a mind of their own and that they talk and they do all these things independently. It's a really awesome series. Now, this book is not particularly my favorite book, but it's the only one I have right now because the series is so big and if I started buying it, I would not have money to do anything. Like, this series is... Oh my gosh. Last time I checked, it was like four, five series long and still ongoing. It's probably longer now. But the one I have is Firestar's Quest. And you can see the book cover's all banged up. I rescued it from library like i've said before they were throwing it away and i was like no 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 and like this thing was literally falling apart like look at that i taped it up but it still wanted to just disintegrate <laughs> like this book was destroyed but it's not my f particularly favorite book mine was uh midnight you know the books that from that series i believe the series was called um it's not even in this one no it is the new prophecy series that's my favorite series from this main series that was my favorite but yeah um if you want to check it out it's warriors series firestar's quest by aaron hunter all the series by aaron hunter believe it or not it's not the name of the author but a collaboration of people who make these books, but it's the same style of writing, it sticks to the same storyline, and it's a huge series. So yeah, the Warrior series, you can search it and it'll show you all the series of the books. So yeah, Warriors by Aaron Hunt. Well that concludes the Wednesday book vlog for today. I hope you had fun learning about these books. Maybe I showed you some that you might want to read. Maybe I in inspired you to read more let me know in the comments what you thought about this video leave a like make sure you tweet at me at senpai7 lol senpai777 and tweet 
the hashtag senpai777 riddle and tweet me at your answer and you might win a shout out for next Wednesday book vlog. I will do a shout out and a video tour of your channel if you have one and also your social media like your Twitter or anything like that. So leave a like, comment below on what you thought of the video, tweet at me at hashtag senpai777riddle your thought about the riddle, what you might think the answer is, please limit it to one riddle. And if you didn't get it right the previous Wednesday book vlog, you can ask, you can answer again. So Tess, you unfortunately didn't get it right today, but you can do another uh, answer. So I'll see you guys in the next video and bye-bye.